One of the first videos we ever did was tumbling glass for our flower gardens, and it's uh, fairly popular. But I thought people might appreciate a little more detail as to how we go about doing it. And since this is the very last of the glass, I've told my wife that I am done uh, with, with messing with it anymore. This would be the time, the, the one and only time, as it were, to show you guys the whole complete process. And it starts with just uh, glass. This happens to be in an old barrel because I didn't have to worry about it and we just threw them in. Uh, you'll notice that there's whole bottles and there's broken bottles. It doesn't matter. Trust me, they'll break in the cement mixer and you don't have to worry about it at all. The only issue is, if you fill it completely with whole bottles, after it's broken them all, you might have to stop it and add more because you don't want it tumbling almost empty or it'll pulverize everything. You got some painted glass down in there. Um, sometimes the paint comes off, sometimes it won't. I know from experience this, this actually won't, but it doesn't matter much to us. Um, colors will jump right out. For instance, this is an old hunk of Coke bottle and it looks blue. Well, when it's tumbled, that, that color blue will be uh, more prevalent. These are uh, hunks of insulators that have been tumbled, and you can see that the color blue does come out. Uh, we recommend that the clear glass, if you're going to do that, uh, that green soda glass stuff, gives it sort of a, a sickly yellowish color when it's tumbled and broken. Though, if you're just trying to fill it up, you know, you can put a lot in. And, and just bury it under good glass. Uh, same with tempered glass. Tempered glass always breaks down into tiny pieces and for the most part it doesn't turn opaque. But if you're just trying to fill the drum, if you're just trying to fill the flower gardens, what does it matter if there's tempered glass at the bottom? This is my mixer. It's sort of a, a nameless mixer. I'm not sure where it came from. The drive system is all homemade and I've had to repair it a number of times. Keep in mind this is going to destroy a mixer. Uh, you're running it for eight or twelve hours at a shot so you're talking in its lifespan hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of loads of concrete you're using it in a way it's not intended to that's not to say it won't make it this has made it I've had to repair it I've had to put uh, new bearings in the drive gears but uh, new belts uh, have not burned up the motor yet but who cares right this is if you have to write off a mixer for your project just keep that in mind the only other modification I've made is I added some hooks on either side to hold the lid on. You want to keep a lid on because you have to tumble wet and you're tumbling for so long uh, that you, you don't want your, your stuff to dry out on you or get thick and gloopy because then it doesn't tumble right and if you forget it in the mixer and it packs hard you will be chipping it out with a hammer. So that's, that's what the, the cover is for. It has to be held on. It does also keep things from uh, shooting out. As far as filling the mixer goes, I'm sure it's different for every mixer. I, I just sort of fill mine more than I would when I was mixing concrete, but uh, maybe a third full or so. I, you'd have to play with your mixer to see what it's, what it's going to be like. Remember to stand back when you dump the glass because you do not want to breathe the dust. Once you have it loaded with broken glass, you just uh, bucket in some water. I bucket in about three to four gallons of water. I'll throw in a handful of stones. The stones help uh, make it opaque. Now this is a mixed load. Like I said, I, I really don't care. Stuff like that will break. Uh, if halfway through you, you, you open it up and you find out they're still going, I just take and bang them. Inside the cement mixer, a hunk like this is going to pulverize smaller pieces uh, until it shatters on its own. Uh, normally, I'd do something about it, but like I said, I am I am so done with glass that uh, this is it right here, and I don't care how it comes out. Whole bottles, broken bottles, it don't matter. The rocks are important. The water is essential. Do not tumble dry, no matter what you do. The smoke coming out of your drum is uh, good enough to cause permanent damage that way. Keep her wet, keep it sloshy, that way there's no, no smoke. Uh, the only thing left to do is put the cover on and, and turn the machine on. And as I'll show you in a bit, do not underestimate just how loud this is going to be. Even if it's something you can get away with, that your neighbors can't stop you, you really should take some time and think about uh, what you're doing to them. 
because when you turn it on it runs for eight hours 10 hours 12 hours so I mean it just crunch 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 a plastic mixer I'm sure would be quieter that this is what I have a uh, couple of times what I've done is I've wrapped the drum in an old blanket bound it up in some straps really tight that did a tremendous job muffling it uh, the lid does a good job of muffling it and I would also take and put it inside the garage and close the door on it it's summertime this is the last load I'm not gonna bother with that I'm just gonna run her out there and I don't know buy my neighbors a beer or something okay so it's all loaded and ready to go again don't underestimate just how loud it is That's the kind of noise that'll drive your neighbors insane. Hour after hour. Which is why I don't run it after a certain time of night. So tomorrow morning about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, I'll plug it in and let it run. And then I'll let it run until it more or less it looks done. Uh, eight hours, uh, ten hours, whatever. It doesn't doesn't matter all that much. And then we take it out, we put it through a screen, and save just the big pieces. You'll have uh, a couple of gallons of of glass sand when it's all said and done. And uh, we dump it in the garden, but I guess you could do whatever you wanted with it.